I wanted to make a sleeping platform for my SUV and uh, in this case a super outback although this technique will work for nearly any SUV um, I didn't want to use any uh, screws or bolts I just wanted it to be simple fit together and easy to make um, my Subaru is 42 and a half wide so the plywood sheets you see are that dimension width and together they amount to 72 inches front to back um, you can see the grain of the wood runs across the car which is important because the plywood is much stronger in one dimension than the other I start with putting a 1x6 along the length of the bed and raising it up on clips uh, to get it level this is also a Simza car is also already on a level surface and in my case I can see there's a four and a half inch difference between the front and the rear of the um, board so I just made a little piece of wood that dimension and put a pin on the top edge and slid it along the floor of the van to draw a line on the um, 1x6 to get the proper slope so it will fit and make a level platform inside the SUV. Then it was a little bit of work with a bandsaw, or you could use a jigsaw, whatever, to cut the slopes on both sides. Now these are clearly uh, ready and level, but uh, there's nothing to keep them from falling over, so I cut notches uh, somewhere near the middle of each one and uh, put a cross piece across and those interlock together without any hardware and keeps it all standing up straight and uh, strong. There you can see a diagram of the notch that I cut. I used a bandsaw but uh, a saber saw or jigsaw would work very well. Here's a completed uh, setup again 72 inches from front to rear. Um, that could be longer if your car is longer or you're willing to move your front seats up a bit. I don't want to do that. I made a cross piece out of plywood. It's much stronger on those joints than uh, pine would be. Here you can see the grain of the wood from side to side. That's important and make sure you don't run it the other way. It's much stiffer in and along the grain. Now this little movie shows how quickly you can put this into the car and take it out again. Uh, first um, putting the long pieces in. I had some leftover webbing that I glued to the top just to minimize scratching, but uh, certainly not necessary. Here I'm fitting the notches together and sliding the whole thing into position. Clearly I'm not a videographer or even a voice talent. I am a professional woodworker over these past 50 years. If you want to see my more refined work, check me out at woodentoy.com. W-O-D-E-N-T-O-Y.com. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks.